Dickerson's gonna get her own rebound. Gets her own yes. rebound and puts it in for two. Dickerson putting on a show early here. Baseline ball with seven on the shot clock for NPC. Here we go. Inside Atkins turns and fires for two. National Park's gonna win this basketball game. They erased a double digit deficit. Came back in the fourth and they're gonna win it. Your final score. Nighthawks 80, Lady Colts 74. Live from Rhodes Fieldhouse on the campus of Harding University in Searcy. This is National Park Nighthawk Women's Basketball on the Nighthawk Network, your official home for Nighthawk athletics this season. Good afternoon, Nighthawk Nation. I'm NPC Sports Information Director Mark Oliver. Today's broadcast is brought to you by First Security Bank, a proud sponsor of Nighthawk Athletics in 2022, First Security Bank bank better and by the official home of Nighthawk men and women's soccer this season Hot Springs Baptist Church after closing out the regular season on Saturday with its second consecutive win the 11 and 14 Nighthawk women enter the region 2 tournament with their sights set on a championship in today's opening round the Nighthawks face a familiar opponent a really familiar opponent South Arkansas Community College. The Nighthawks and the Stars met just three days ago in an exciting battle which had the Nighthawks on top, 91-86 in the end. NPC swept the Stars in Region 2 play this season and looked to make it three in a row en route to the team's first postseason win in Nighthawk history. Leading the way for the Nighthawks this season, Kayla Richardson. Averaging 15.6 points per game, the freshman from Granis excels at scoring down low and is often seen setting the pace early in games and dominating the boards for second chance opportunities. Number one's true bread and butter though, free throws and the freshman has hit a lot of them this year when it mattered the most. The past two Nighthawk wins on the road at Cossetot at home against South Dark Richardson iced the game from the free throw line. Joining Richardson is the all-time leading scorer for Nighthawk Nation, sophomore India Atkins. Averaging 14.8 points per game, Atkins has been on fire as of late, turning in back-to-back 20-point -back performances. Rounding out the scoring for the Nighthawk women this season, sophomore Amaya Coakley, a true dual threat, averaging 11.2 points per contest. The shooting stars of South Arkansas enter the Region 2 tournament as the number five seed and look to play spoiler after dropping a heartbreaker in the kettle on Saturday. Behind Kashanti Brantley, Dynasty Davis, and Darby Forte, the stars hope to upset the Nighthawks and ride their hot three-point shooting to the Final Four on Friday. The postseason is here and it's win or go home. Will the Nighthawks make history on the road in Searcy? When we come back, we'll have starting lineups and the opening tip between the Nighthawks and the Stars. This is National Park Nighthawks basketball on the Nighthawk Network. Arkansans appreciate community. We work and raise families, care for our neighbors, and come together in good times and bad. At First Security, that local strength is what we love best about our home state. There is commitment here, and heart, and hope. Thank you to everyone who is standing together, learning from one another, and making Arkansas a place we all love to call home. We're proud to be your community bank. Success comes with many challenges. At National Park College, we've created programs that provide the tools to meet those challenges. Experience a university atmosphere at half the cost. Visit National Park College and find your path.
back here at Harding University. Guys, we made it. National Park enters the postseason. Looking to make history, looking to continue an already historic season for the Nighthawks. Not only have they already matched the most wins in Nighthawk history in the regular season, they're looking for their first postseason win in school history. Your starting lineup for the National Park Nighthawks today, number double zero, India Atkins. Number one, Kayla Richardson. Number four, Essiana Bennett. Number 10, Amaya Coakley. And number 23, Jyla Calvin. For the South Arc Stars, number 11, Chastity Jones. Number 12, Dynasty Davis. Number 14, Lexi Pyle. Number 32, Darby Forte. And number 40, Addison McNeil. Postseason basketball, it's win or go home. We're underway. National Park College controls the rock as we get underway here in Searcy. Glad to have you with us on the live stream this afternoon. Jyla Calvin's long three won't go. Dynasty Davis picks up the board. Let us know where you're watching from. Who you're here to see, we want to give you a shout out today. Just underway here in the first quarter. Forte to Davis, long three, won't go. Loose ball, controlled by Lexi Pyle and the South Arc Stars. Fed on the inside, Darby Forte can't get it to go, and Essiana Bennett has a rebound. The all-time leading rebounder for the Nighthawk women has another one. We're just about a minute off the board, no score. It was a high-scoring affair on Saturday. It was the most points scored by the Nighthawks all season long, scoring 91. Second most points scored in Nighthawk history. India Atkins looks to start the scoring. First free throw is off the mark. I'm told it was a very quiet trip up for the Nighthawks. Coming up here, getting their minds right. A lot of focus for Coach Dominique Battles' women. They've got a job to do, and they know how to get it done. They've done it twice against this South Arc team this season. But as we learned last year, beating a team three times in a row, three times in one year, is a tough task. Both times these two teams have faced, it's been close. 49-43 back in January in El Dorado. 91-86 just three days ago in the kettle. Jyla Calvin starts the scoring with a three. Nighthawks with the early lead, finding success from beyond the arc. Out of bounds, Nighthawk basketball. NPC's job is to come in and create some momentum. If they can keep it from being close, they will. Jyla Calvin on the move. Finds Amaya Coakley, trying to work the inside, puts one up in traffic, it's good. The Nighthawks lead, five, nothing. South Art looking for his first points of the ball game. Addison McNeil trades off with Jones and Davis. Addison McNeil gave the Nighthawks fits from the three-point line on Saturday. Her shot won't go. Kayla Richardson with the rebound. Nighthawks try to thread the needle. Essiana Bennett. Lost it out of bounds, stays with Nighthawk Nation. The first substitution of today's game will be for the South Arc Stars. It's number 21, Kishanti Brantley. Brantley was the leading scorer on Saturday in the kettle for the Stars. Game that came down to last second free throws by this young woman right here, Kayla Richardson. Her shot won't go. Rebound picked up, Chastity Jones, and the Nighthawks hang on. 7.25 remaining in the first quarter. Long three from Forte, won't go. South Arc recovers, Brantley will score the first bucket of the game for the girls from El Dorado. 
Five to two, India Atkins from downtown too hard. Rebound, Dynasty Davis. Here come the Stars. 6.52 remaining in the first quarter. Coakley with the pressure. Davis looking to take it coast to coast, but she's fouled. Free throws are coming for Dynasty Davis. It's the first personal for India Atkins. Atkins, Bennett, and Coakley were honored on sophomore night on Saturday. They're not ready to call it quits on a night hot career here. First free throw is good by Dynasty Davis. Two for two. And that's four points in a row for the South Ark Stars. Nighthawks on the move, Amaya Coakley pulls up, long two, and it's a heartbreaker in and out. Stars recover, down 5-4, 6.34 to play. Looking for their first lead of the ball game, McNeil on the near wing, she stepped out of bounds. We've seen that a few times here, and it's a neutral court. Both teams not familiar with the boundaries here. 6.25 to play. Here comes India Atkins. Today, this is game two of four total games on tap here in the Region 2 tournament. Moments ago, we saw the Lady Rockets of SAU Tech defeating the Lady Colts of Cossetot 67-61. We have a turnover here. South Arc will take over. 3 of the final 4 teams in women's action have been decided. Mid-South and SAU Tech face off on Friday. North Arkansas College awaits the winner of this battle Friday. Taylor Humphreys enters the fray for Nighthawk Nation coming in off the bench. She's really heated up lately. 554 to play. And the Stars looking to take the lead. Fed in down low. It was tipped over the back. Essiana Bennett's going to be charged with her first personal foul. Two fouls for National Park College. Forte gets it deep. Atkins is going to win the foot race. One on one. Atkins can't get it done. She's fouled. India Atkins will head to the free throw line. Now, Atkins has missed a couple so far. The foul is on number 11, Chastity Jones. Team second foul for South Arc. Atkins looking to pad the one point lead. First free throw is good. Atkins misses the second one. Rebound, Brantley. Atkins on the board with one point. McNeil to Brantley. 5.30 remaining in the first. McNeil gets it. And that'll give the lead to South Arc. McNeil hit a couple of first quarter threes on Saturday. Really helped set the pace for South Arc in a close ball game. South Arc leads with 5.12 remaining in the first. Nighthawks trying to hang on. Essiana Bennett draws contact. She's headed to the line. Free throws coming for Nighthawk Nation. Essiana Bennett will shoot two. Looking for her first points of the ball game. Amaya Coakley readies off camera to come back in for the Nighthawks. First free throw, no good. Nighthawks have missed four of five attempts so far. Bennett looking to break even. Can't get it. Brantley with the rebound. Nighthawks trailing by one. Five minutes remaining. Lexi Pyle, double team, needs a little bit of help. Ball is knocked away. Last touched by Jyla Calvin. Amaya Coakley is back into the ball game. Messiana Bennett will take a seat. 
It's Atkins, Calvin, Humphreys, Richardson, and Coakley on the floor for the Nighthawks. Vincent and Brantley hand the ball to McNeil and Forte for South Arc. Four on the shot clock. It's taken away by Coakley. Amaya into the front court. Amaya, baseline, won't get it. And the rebound's picked up by South Arkansas. Back and forth we go, 4.27 remaining. Addison McNeil, top of the key. Nighthawks in the zone here. The long three won't go. Atkins catches it on the run. Quickly into the front court. Looking to blow past four stars. She gets it done. India Atkins and the Nighthawks regain the lead. Three points for Atkins. She's tied for the team lead. McNeil and Brantley trying to drive in, spinning in traffic, partially blocked. Count the bucket. There's a foul. Brantley will head to the line for the three-point play. She has four points awaiting the end. One opportunity here. Looking to be the first team to 10 in today's action. She won't get it. Richardson comes up with the rebound. Free throws aren't anybody's friend in this one. Calvin for three, it's off the mark. Rebound, Coakley, there's a jump ball. National Park will have it. Excuse me, it looks like South Art basketball. They have the possession arrow wrong on the scoreboard here. South Arc has it. Leading 9-8. Knocked out of bounds. Nighthawk basketball. Humphreys readies to bring it in to India Atkins. Down low, up and in, Amaya Coakley, and back and forth we go. Four points for Coakley. 10-9 ball game. 3.20 to play in the first. McNeil for three. Off the back of the rim. Coakley to Atkins. Here come the Hawks. Calvin has her hands full with Lexi Pyle. Feeds it to Richardson. She's fouled. Nobody has shot more free throws this season than Kayla Richardson. 109 made free throws and nobody else even comes close. Richardson is shooting two. First shot, no good. One attempt left for Kayla Richardson here in the first. Missed them both. Each team is struggling to make free throws here early. Three minutes left. 10-9. Nighthawks by one. Here's Vanessa Vincent driving up and in. And the lead changes again. First point to the ball game for Vincent. Coakley fires down low, won't get it. Rebound, Stars, Kishunti Brantley. 2.32 to play. Darby Forte. Offensive foul. That'll be against Forte. Her second. Five team fouls against South Arc. Nighthawks will bring it in. Checking in for the Stars is Lexi Pyle. Forte takes a breather with 2.25 remaining here in the first. Here comes National Park College. Nighthawks started on a 5 0 lead, but it's back and forth since then. Jyla Calvin from downtown. Humphrey secures it for the home team. We have a travel. Two 
2.04 remaining in the first quarter. Glad to have you with us on the live stream. We see you out there. Let us know who you're rooting for today. Let us know where you're watching from. There's a steal. Amaya Coakley, but she traveled, trying to get her feet set to put up a prayer. Back to the stars we go. 2.02 to play. Bounce pass inside. Now a reach in on Coakley. Oh, excuse me. They may point this at. Yeah, it's going to be against Coakley. Second foul on Amaya Coakley. Team's fifth. Two oh one remaining. South Arc leads eleven to ten. They've outscored the Nighthawks eleven to five since the early go. Here's Dynasty Davis quickly dashing across the court. She'll slow down to set things up. Davis feeds it to Jones and now Pyle on the near wing. Brantley thought about a three. 12 on the shot clock. Brantley has her hands full, gets it away. Pyle for three, no. But down under the basket, Chastity Jones fires one up, draws contact, she's headed to the free throw line. India Atkins is going to pick up her second personal there, and Atkins and Coakley each with two fouls. First free throw is good. Two for two. Still a one possession ball game, 13 to 10. On the floor for the Nighthawks, Essiana Bennett, India Atkins, Kayla Richardson, Jyla Calvin, and entering the game is Whitaker Moorhead. Across the timeline is Witt. Calvin fires a long three. It's good. Calvin ties the game with her second tray. Brantley. Jones fires for three. A heartbreaker. It rolls out. 108 to play. Atkins and the Nighthawks looking to drive deep. A prayer at the baseline. It won't go. Brantley has the rebound. Less than a minute remaining. It's been an exciting start to this one. Pyle driving. Dished out to Brantley. 15 on the shot clock and down low. A wide open opportunity for Jones. She can't get it. Brantley, the second chance points, no. Knocked out of bounds, Nighthawk Rock. 38.2 seconds left. Nighthawks will have it. Moorhead will bring it in. Bounce pass inside is intercepted. It's going to go out of bounds, and I believe it's going to go back to National Park. Shot clock is turned off now. 29 seconds remaining. The Nighthawks can hold for the final shot of the first quarter if they wish. There's a turnover. Vincent, right place, right time. Atkins trying to avoid the backcourt. Dished in down low, and it's tipped by Essiana Bennett. Taylor Humphreys back into the game, and India Atkins will take a breather. 21.5 seconds left. Three points for India Atkins here in the first. Jala Calvin leads the way with six for the home team. Pyle to Vincent. 18 seconds left. Fed in down low. It's tipped away by Humphreys. Nighthawks will have it back. Richardson across the timeline. Whitaker Moorhead pull up. Jumper. No. Five seconds left. Brantley dashes across the way, a half court heave, no. That's the end of the first quarter here from Harding University in Searcy. 13-13. When we come back, it'll be the second quarter. Here in the NJCAA Region 2 Tournament, this is National Park Nighthawk Basketball on the Nighthawk Network. Arkansans appreciate community. 
We work and raise families, care for our neighbors, and come together in good times and bad. At First Security, that local strength is what we love best about our home state. There is commitment here, and heart, and hope. Thank you to everyone who is standing together, learning from one another, and making Arkansas a place we all love to call home. We're proud to be your community bank. Success comes with many challenges. At National Park College, we've created programs that provide the tools to meet those challenges. Experience a university atmosphere at half the cost. Visit National Park College and find your path. All knotted up at 13 here from Harding University in Searcy, the site of the 2021-22 NJCAA Region 2 Tournament. National Park College is the number four seed coming into today's game. Facing off against the number five, South Ark Stars. The winner takes on North Arkansas College Friday right here in Searcy. Six points for Jyla Calvin, four for Amaya Coakley. Three for India Atkins. That's how the Nighthawks got it done after 10 minutes. Nighthawks start with the rock here in the second quarter, looking to gain the lead back. Calvin loses a dribble, finds Essiana Bennett, front and center, up and in. Essiana Bennett is on the board for the first time today. The Nighthawks will take the lead, 15-13. Dynasty Davis will jump pass there, setting up Vincent out on the wing. Davis... Can't get it to go. We've got a foul on the rebound. This one's going to be against Whitaker Moorhead of NPC. Big day for basketball here in the postseason. Nighthawk women playing now. The Nighthawk men coming up next in the 5 o'clock time slot here. They'll face South Arc as well. Each team looking to move on to the final four. Whitaker Moorhead off the rim, no good. 9-10 remaining in the first half here in Searcy. Vincent across the timeline finds Dynasty Davis. Zone defense from the Nighthawks working well so far. Across the way is Brantley. She pulls up for three. It's off the rim, and Richardson has the rebound. 8.47 to play. Calvin left wide open for three. Off the front of the rim. Rebound South Arc. Stars across the timeline. Kashanti Brantley, Vanessa Vinson. Loose ball. The Stars keep it. Davis from the corner. Won't go. Stars retain the basketball. Humphreys tried to tap it away. We're going to have a foul down low. It's against Taylor Humphreys. That's her first. Coakley and Atkins have two fouls apiece for Nighthawk Nation. Each team with just one foul here in the second. South Arc will inbound at the baseline. Dynasty Davis feeds it in to Chastity Jones. Forte picks up her dribble. Knocked away. Moorhead comes up with the loose ball. Here come the Nighthawks. 8.04 to play. Moorhead. Needs help, it's stolen. Picked up by Kishanti Brantley. Here comes Dynasty Davis and the Stars. Back and forth here in the second quarter. 15-13 Nighthawks. 7.50 to play. Stolen by Whitaker Moorhead. Looking to hang on to it. Has the ball. Timeout, National Park College. Coach Dominique Battles wants a moment with his women. We'll take it with him. 15-13, Nighthawks lead. 7.37 to play here in the first half. It's the NJCAA Region 2 Tournament live from Harding University on the Nighthawk Network. Arkansans appreciate community. We work and raise families, care for our neighbors, and come together in good times and bad. At First Security, that local strength is what we love best about our home state. There is commitment here, and heart, and hope. 
Thank you to everyone who is standing together, learning from one another, and making Arkansas a place we all love to call home. We're proud to be your community bank. Back here in Rhodes Memorial Fieldhouse, Harding University in Searcy, the side of the NJCAA Region 2 Tournament. Nighthawks lead 15-13. Coming out of Coach Dominic Battles' timeout, the Nighthawk women will have it. Humphreys to inbound for NPC. Got to find someone to give it to. India Atkins has it. Three points for India in today's game. The all-time leading scorer for the Nighthawk women. Looking for the first postseason win in Nighthawk women basketball history. Atkins, deep from downtown. Can't get it. 7-13 remaining in this back and forth first half. The Stars haven't scored yet in the second quarter. Just about three minutes off the clock here in the second. That's a ball poked away. South Arc stays with it. Seven minutes left. It's blocked by Bennett. Jones fires short. Second chance. No, and the Nighthawks have it. Jyla Calvin quickly makes her way across the timeline. Calvin trying to finish, can't go, and Pyle picks up the rebound. Back and forth we go. Been a slow start for both teams here in the second quarter. 6.34 to play. Brantley to Forte, and Pyle for three, won't go. Calvin, a great game so far, gets the rebound. Fed it in to Richardson, loses the laser, and Chastity Jones comes up with it. Back to the Stars we go, 6-13 remaining. Forte to Brantley. 13 on the shot clock for South Arc. Forte for three, it's in. Banked in off the glass, and the lead goes back to the ladies from El Dorado. First points of the ball game for Darby Forte. So the Nighthawks trail, 16-15. Atkins at the baseline, gets it done. Five points for Atkins in today's battle. Still anybody's ball game, 5.28 to play. Forte to the basket. And the lead changes again. Five points for Forte. Calvin looking for her third tray. Fighting for a loose ball. Can't get it. Brantley hangs on. 5.08 remaining. Brantley to the basket. Partially blocked by Essiana Bennett. Calvin with another big rebound. Out on the wing, Richardson for three, no. And an over the back foul will be charged to Essiana Bennett. That's her second, team second, here in the second. Into the game for Nighthawk Nation, number 32, Danielle Dickerson. Dickerson, Calvin, Bennett, Atkins, and Moorhead on the floor for the home team. National Park trails by one, 442 remaining in the first half. Here's Addison McNeil, deep three, it's good. Her second tray of the game, she has six overall. Bounce pass to Moorhead. Thought about a three, resets up high. Essiana Bennett puts her body on the line, she'll bank it in, it's a two point game. Four points for Bennett. Now the Nighthawks looking for a turnover, looking for a steal. Forte got the three. South Arc starting to heat up. That's eight points in the second quarter for Darby Forte. The lead is five. 3.55 to go. Atkins drives. Finishes for two. Seven points for India Atkins. She leads the Nighthawks in scoring here in the first half. 
Three-point ball game. One possession, 3.33 to go. Brantley to the hoop. She's blocked by Bennett. Calvin, another rebound. And the Nighthawks have the rock. Moorhead floater, good. Whitaker Moorhead on the board. Her first points of the battle. And the Nighthawks pull within one. The Stars trying to get it to one of their hot-handed three-point shooters. Forte feeds it to Brantley. It's in. Six points, Kashanti Brantley. And it's a three-point game again. 2.48 remaining. Atkins directing traffic for NPC. Loses the ball. It's out of bounds. South Arc Stars will have it. Timeout on the floor. South Arkansas Community College. 2.38 remaining in the first half. The Stars lead the Nighthawks 26-23. We're back after this. National Park Nighthawk Basketball is on the Nighthawk Network. Arkansans appreciate community. We work and raise families, care for our neighbors, and come together in good times and bad. At First Security, that local strength is what we love best about our home state. There is commitment here, and heart, and hope. Thank you to everyone who is standing together, learning from one another, and making Arkansas a place we all love to call home. We're proud to be your community bank. Success comes with many challenges. At National Park College, we've created programs that provide the tools to meet those challenges. Experience a university atmosphere at half the cost. Visit National Park College and find your path. Twenty-six, twenty-three. South Arc leads National Park with 2.38 remaining in the second quarter here from Harding University. Shout-outs to the National Park College Student Commons. What's up, guys? Cheering on the Nighthawks back home in Hot Springs. Glad to have you guys watching. Wish you were here. As we resume play, South Arc Community College has the basketball. Nighthawks looking for a turnover. As we approach the late stages of the first half here in Searcy. Addison McNeil to Darby Forte. Chastity Jones long two. Nighthawks got a hand on it. Jyla Calvin and India Atkins comes up with the rebound. Nighthawk basketball. Calvin finds Richardson. Trying to thread it inside. Can't get it. Rebound Jones. Here come the Stars. Less than two minutes remaining in the first half. Darby Forte at the basket. Blocked by Calvin. Picked up by Kayla Richardson. Turning on the Jets. Coast to coast. Loses the ball out of bounds. Nighthawks will keep it. 140 remaining. Richardson from the free throw line, it won't go. Another heartbreaker. 90 seconds left in the first half. Brantley to Vincent, she traveled. India Atkins across the timeline. Sizing up the Shooting Stars defense. Humphreys from downtown. Won't go. Moorhead, the putback. No. Tapped out of bounds, and it's Shooting Stars basketball. 106 to play. Been a back and forth battle. It was 13 13 after the first quarter.
Darby Forte beyond the arc, less than a minute to go. Forte for three, too hard. Rebound, Jyla Calvin. We can't say that enough in today's game. Calvin for three, off the rim. Loose ball's picked up by Darby Forte. 35 seconds left. Atkins with the pressure and the steal. Atkins, one-on-one, -on -one, gets it done! Count the bucket, there's a foul! India Atkins putting the team on her back, looking to tie it up from the free throw line. Nine points for Atkins. She can tie the game with 26 seconds left. She done it. Ten points, India Atkins were tied. South Arc prepped to hold for the final shot. Stolen by Atkins. The all-time steals leader has another one. Looking for the lead. Got it! India Atkins. Last shot of the first half. A half-court heave. No good! The Nighthawks take the lead into the locker room. 28-26 after 20 minutes. What a game so far here in the NJCAA Region 2 Tournament. Time now for our first Security Bank Halftime Report. When we come back, our Nighthawk Player of the Game interview with Nighthawk freshman Emily Touch. This is National Park Nighthawk Basketball on the Nighthawk Network. Our Kansans appreciate community. We work and raise families, care for our neighbors, and come together in good times and bad. At First Security, that local strength is what we love best about our home state. There is commitment here, and heart, and hope. Thank you to everyone who is standing together, learning from one another, and making Arkansas a place we all love to call home. We're proud to be your community bank. Success comes with many challenges. At National Park College, we've created programs that provide the tools to meet those challenges. Experience a university atmosphere at half the cost. Visit National Park College and find your path.
National Park Nighthawk Women's Basketball is on the Nighthawk Network. Your official home for Nighthawk Athletics this season. Our featured women's basketball player of the week just missed Kamaya Beal. Kamaya, welcome back to Nighthawk Nation. Tell us a little bit about yourself. What was it that inspired you to come back for another year here? Hey, I'm Emily. I'm from Homer, Louisiana. I'm a nursing major here, and I play basketball. Emily, what was it that drove you to join National Park College? What's your Nighthawk story, and how did you end up as a member of this team this year? My high school coach, he knew Coach Moody because he's from up here too, and he sent him my film, and I didn't know the school existed, honestly. And they were like, it's in Hot Springs. And I was like, oh, Hot Springs, I want to go. And so I instantly like made this my target school, and I got here, so... That was nice. And you and this women's team have made quite the impact this year. Tell me what it's been like to be a member of this team, coming in and meshing with this group of girls and finding the level of success that this team has this year. Uh, The team, they're like a family to me. And we all got along well from the jump. And I know they do anything for me if I ever need anything. And it's the same for them. And we all have one goal. We want to win regionals. We worked hard all year practice every day, get shots up, and I think we're ready for that. It's been a year full of milestones, an 11-win season that ties for the best ever in Nighthawk women's basketball history, had your first three-game win streak, and then your first four-game win streak. Your teams broke records that we thought would never fall here at National Park. What has been maybe your favorite moment along this journey this year? I think my favorite memory is definitely just like before home games, like in the locker room, we'd all like listen to music and get ready and go shoot around. And we were all like locked in and ready to play. And that was really fun for me. Another big moment as the postseason opens today at Harding University in Searcy. This Nighthawk women's program is trying to do something it's never done before, and that's win a postseason game. And it's going to be against a familiar opponent today, South Arkansas Community College. Now, the Nighthawks have beaten the Stars twice this season. They've been close games each time. What is Coach Battles and your team working on to try to make it three in a row and make a little history tonight? Um, We've been working on our defense, like the 1-3-1 one, one and the 2-3 and all that, and I think we definitely got it. We are all locked in. Like yesterday's practice went great, and we're all excited, and I think we're going to pull it off, and I think we can do it. Emily, congratulations on the honor and congratulations on a great first season with National Park College. Is there anybody that you'd like to say hello to who may be watching? I want to say hi to my family back home, to my mom and dad and Brett and Audrey. I miss y'all and I love y'all. Emily Touch at the Nighthawk women's basketball team. More on tonight's postseason game coming up next. This is National Park College Nighthawk women's basketball on the Nighthawk Network. Arkansans appreciate community. We work and raise families, care for our neighbors, and come together in good times and bad. At First Security, that local strength is what we love best about our home state. There is commitment here, and heart, and hope. Thank you to everyone who is standing together, learning from one another, and making Arkansas a place we all love to call home. We're proud to be your community bank. Success comes with many challenges. At National Park College, we've created programs that provide the tools to meet those challenges. Experience a university atmosphere at half the cost. Visit National Park College and find your path.
halftime here from Harding University, the site of the NJCAA Region 2 Tournament. It's the game that the team has been waiting all season for. An 11 and 14 record tied for the best in Nighthawk women's basketball history. Coach Dominique Battle's team has made history multiple times this season, whether it's Essiana Bennett breaking the all-time rebounding record, or India Atkins breaking the all-time steals record or setting the scoring record for National Park College. Maybe it's the team's first four-game win streak in school history. Nighthawks are breaking barriers, shattering the ceiling everywhere they go. They'd like to add their first postseason win to that resume today. After 20 minutes, they lead at the break 28-26. First for the South Arc Stars. Through 20 minutes, Darby Forte leads the way with eight points overall. Addison McNeil and Kashunti Brantley, each with six points. Chastity Jones, Dynasty Davis, and Vanessa Vinson round out the scoring with two points apiece. For your National Park Night Hawkins, the sophomore sensation, India Atkins. 12 points in the first half, nine of those coming in the second quarter. Joining her is Jala Calvin with six points, Essiana Bennett and Amaya Coakley each with four, Whitaker Moorhead with two. When we come back, it's the start of the second half. National Park leading South Arc 28-26. This is Nighthawk Women's Basketball on the Nighthawk Network. Arkansans appreciate community. We work and raise families, care for our neighbors, and come together in good times and bad. At First Security, that local strength is what we love best about our home state. There is commitment here, and heart, and hope. Thank you to everyone who is standing together, learning from one another, and making Arkansas a place we all love to call home. We're proud to be your community bank. Success comes with many challenges. At National Park College, we've created programs that provide the tools to meet those challenges. Experience a university atmosphere at half the cost. Visit National Park College and find your path. Start of the third quarter between the National Park Nighthawks and the South Arc Stars. I'm Mark Oliver with National Park College. Glad to have you with us here. One team's season will end in 20 minutes of basketball. National Park College looking to make sure it's not them. South Arc starts things off with the Rock trailing 28-26 after nearly losing it to a backcourt call. South Arc, Lexi Pyle, long three won't go. Rebound, India Atkins. It's Coakley, Calvin, Richardson, Atkins, and Bennett on the floor for the Nighthawks. And there's a shooting foul against Darby Forte. That sends India Atkins to the free throw line. Atkins is two for five from the charity stripe today. She leads all scorers with 12 points. So Forte is going to sit with her third personal foul, and that could be huge for National Park College. Atkins at the line, shooting two. First shot is good. She has 13. Atkins, two for two. And the Nighthawks lead at 30, the 26. 9.23 to play in the third quarter. Here's Kishanti Brantley. 
Addison McNeil to Chastity Jones, dished out. National Park trying to force a three, not letting anything in the paint here. Dynasty Davis denied by Essiana Bennett. Another big block by Tree. One minute off the clock here in the third quarter. Bennett from around the free throw line. Calvin wide open, can't get it. Out of bounds, last touch by a Nighthawk. South Arc will get it back. 8.52 to play here in Searcy in the third quarter. Lexi Pyle will inbound. Here comes Dynasty Davis for the Stars. India Atkins applying the pressure. Looking for another steal. Davis falls down. Stars stay with it. 13 on the shot clock. McNeil to Brantley. Lost the rock. Coakley picks up the loose ball and the Nighthawks have it. Into the front court, India Atkins. Deep three. Air ball picked up Chastity Jones. Eight oh eight to play here in the third. South Arc yet to score here in the third quarter. They had a slow start to the second as well. Long three, won't go. Essiana Bennett with the board. And here's a quick pass on the inside. Amaya Coakley in traffic. Count it. There's a foul. Six points for Amaya Coakley headed to the line for the and one. The Nighthawks have four points to start the third quarter. Coakley will knock it down. Seven points for the sophomore from Killeen, Texas. Nighthawks threatening to pull away here in the third. They lead by seven. Loose ball, Davis is trapped in the corner. Skates away, she traveled. Coming into the game for the Stars, number 20, Vanessa Vinson. Dynasty Davis takes a rest. 7.36 to play in the third. Thirty-three twenty-six. We've adjusted our scoreboard graphic. Seven twenty-five to play. Here's Atkins to Calvin. Long three, off the rim. Richardson controls the rebound. The Nighthawks will get a reset. Coakley feeds it into Essiana Bennett. Can't win the one-on-one. -on -one. South Arc will get it back. We've played three minutes here in the third. South Arc yet to score in the second half. Kishinti Brantley is going to put an end to the bleeding. Eight points for Kishinti Brantley. That ties her for the team lead for the Stars. Coakley looking for an answer. She does. Amaya Coakley heating up. Five points in the third. Nine overall. Lexi Pyle from downtown. That'll cut the deficit. First points of the ball game for Pyle. How will the Nighthawks respond? Up by four. Coakley is going to travel. Checking in for the Nighthawks. Number two, Taylor Humphreys. Kayla Richardson takes a breather. 6-10 remaining. Brantley and McNeil beyond the arc for South Arc. That one stolen by Bennett. Atkins from the free throw line. It's bouncing in for two. 16 points for super sophomore India Atkins. 37-31 Nighthawks, 5.41 to go. Triple team Brantley is going to go to the free throw line. Atkins just picked up her third personal. Now, 
First foul of the third quarter for National Park College. Kishanti Brantley is at the free throw line. She has eight points today. That one's good. Looking to enter double figures for South Arc. In and out. Jyla Calvin, another big rebound. The lead is five, Nighthawk Rock. Here's India Atkins. Atkins drives, fires, it's good. India Atkins continues to set the pace here. She has 18 points. She's at 20 plus in the past two. She looks to make it three in a row. Out of bounds, South Arc basketball. Clock stopped, 5-12 to play. Trying to set up a big three here. Brantley to pile. Five minutes remaining. Three on the shot clock. Chastity Jones can't get it. Taylor Humphreys has the rock. Here come the Nighthawks. Up seven in the third. Amaya Coakley will travel and turn it over. Pile to inbound. Vincent has her hands full with India Atkins. Gets it across the timeline. Brantley can't hang on. Kayla Richardson back into the fray for the home team. Amaya Coakley takes a seat. It's Calvin, Richardson, Bennett, Atkins, and Humphreys. 4.25 to play in the third. Nighthawks outscoring the Stars 11 to six. Calvin can't get the floater to go. Bennett, second chance, it rolls on in. The Nighthawks eclipse 40. And the lead is nine. Biggest lead of the ball game for National Park College. Four minutes left in the third. Brantley driving, and she's fouled. It's going to be against Jyla Calvin. Her first. Team second here in the third. Brooke Patton enters the game for the first time for the Stars. Darby Forte is back on the floor. She stepped out here in the third quarter with three fouls, but South Arc needs her on the floor. First free throw, no good. Brantley will get another attempt here. Misses the second one. National Park will have it. Essiana Bennett with the rebound. Here's Taylor Humphreys. Nine-point ball game. 3.42 to play. Atkins gets a bump out to Humphreys for three. Yes! Taylor Humphreys. Her first points of the ball game, and that'll give the Nighthawks a double-digit lead. Brantley up and in. 10-point ball game. 11 points for Kishanti Brantley. Nighthawks cruising. Oh, there's a steal. Brantley looks like she's all alone going coast to coast. Blocked by Bennett! Patton with the putback. It's good. Brooke Patton on the board for the first time today. She has two points. The lead is eight. Calvin to the hole. Won't go. Bennett draws contact. Essiana Bennett's headed to the free throw line for NPC. Chastity Jones picks up her third foul. First free throw is good. Seven points 
for Essiana Bennett. Off the rim, Richardson, the put back, no. South Arc will have it. 2.47 remaining in the third. Nighthawks hanging on by nine. South Arc looking to rally here late. Chandler Calvin comes up with another rebound. She's approaching double digits in the rebound category. Out to Humphreys. Long three on its way. A heartbreaker off the rim. Nighthawks trying to get a jump ball there. Couldn't get it. Two Nighthawks tried. Patton out to Jones. Long two. Loose ball. India Atkins. It's the foot race. Atkins up and off the rim. 2.06 remaining. Patton finds Jones to the hoop, and it's denied by Humphreys. What a chase down denial by Taylor. 2.02 to play. Brooke Patton to inbound. Finds Darby Forte to the hoop. No. Second chance is good, Chastity Jones. Four points for Jones. Lead is seven. Jyla Calvin from downtown, off the rim. Bennett is fouled going out of bounds. That's gonna be against Lexi Pyle. First personal on Pyle. Teams Fourth foul here in the third. Humphreys is going to bring it in for the home team. Nighthawks by seven. Coming up on 90 seconds left in the third quarter. Jyla Calvin for three. It's off the mark again. And we've got a blocking foul as Atkins is going to pick up number four. The leading scorer on the floor exits in foul trouble with four fouls. And if the Stars are looking for a comeback window, this could be it. Whitaker Moorhead is back in action. She's no slouch defensively. You see her applying the pressure on Patton. 120 to play. Seven point ball game, loose ball, Calvin has it. Humphreys and Moorhead came up with the trap. Moorhead driving at the baseline, dished out. Bennett puts up a prayer and air ball, no good. One minute left in the third. Nighthawk zone defense, it's worked well all game. Forte on the far wing, they want to shut her down. 40 seconds left. Long three by Brantley. It's good. Fourteen points for Brantley. Nighthawks cannot hold for the final shot of the third quarter. Four-point ball game. Calvin thought about a three. Out to Humphreys. Humphreys takes the three off the board. Put back by Richardson, too short. Loose ball, it's out of bounds. It's going to be Nighthawk basketball. 9.4 seconds left. The Nighthawks can hold for the final shot. For the third consecutive game against the South Arc Stars, it looks like it's going to be down to the wire. Here we go. Five seconds left. Calvin, a deep three. Off the mark, no good. Picked up by the Stars. Forte, not in time. That's the end of the third quarter. We're going to the final act. One team season is 10 minutes away from ending. National Park leads 45-41. This is National Park Nighthawk basketball on the Nighthawk Network. Our Kansans appreciate community. We work and raise families, care for our neighbors, and come together in good times and bad. At First Security, that local strength is what we love best about our home state. There is commitment here, and heart, and hope. Thank you to everyone who is standing together, learning from one another, and making Arkansas a place we all love to call home. We're proud to be your community bank. 
Success comes with many challenges. At National Park College, we've created programs that provide the tools to meet those challenges. Experience a university atmosphere at half the cost. Visit National Park College and find your path. Started the fourth quarter here from the NJCAA Region 2 Tournament at Harding University. 45-41 Nighthawks. National Park will have the basketball to start the final 10-minute period. Moorhead, Humphreys, Bennett, Calvin, and Richardson on the floor for NPC. Jyla Calvin loses a dribble, finds Whitaker Moorhead. 15 on the shot clock. Out to Richardson. Stutter step. Nowhere to go. Ten on the shot clock. Moorhead for three. Off the rim. No good. Rebound. Moorhead will get it. The Nighthawks will get a reset here. 9.30 to play in the ball game. Nighthawks looking to hang on. They're looking for their first win, their first postseason win in school history. And there's Kayla Richardson lighting it up for the first time this ball game. Two points for Richardson. That's how the fourth quarter starts. Long three doesn't go. Picked up by the Stars on the run. Patton for three. Off the mark. No good. One minute off the clock here in the fourth quarter. Nighthawks lead by six. Moorhead banks it in. What a three by Whitaker Moorhead. She has five points to lead out to nine. Nighthawks looking for some breathing room here against the Stars, and there's a steal. Richardson comes up big, looking to take it coast to coast. Loses the rock, finds Calvin. It's up, and it's in. The Nighthawks back up on top by double digits. Eight points for Chyla Calvin. What a start by the Nighthawks. A 7-0 run to begin the fourth quarter. Darby Forte can't get it. Calvin with the rebound. Richardson for three. Good! That's her first of the season. Timeout on the floor. Looks like Richardson's shot will be credited as a two. Regardless, it's a 13 point lead. We're back after this, eight minutes away from Nighthawk history. Nighthawk basketball is on the Nighthawk network. Our Kansans appreciate community. We work and raise families, care for our neighbors, and come together in good times and bad. At First Security, that local strength is what we love best about our home state. There is commitment here, and heart, and hope. Thank you to everyone who is standing together learning from one another, and making Arkansas a place we all love to call home. We're proud to be your community bank. Success comes with many challenges. At National Park College, we've created programs that provide the tools to meet those challenges. Experience a university atmosphere at half the cost. Visit National Park College and find your path. It's a 9-0 run to start the fourth quarter for your National Park Nighthawks. Leading by just four to start the period. Now they lead by 13. National Park College starting to think that they're going to get this. They've played hard in this one. 7.53 remaining in the first round of the NJCAA Region 2 Tournament. South Arc with the basketball. Lexi Pyle to the hole, a travel. Nighthawks are gonna get it back. Humphreys will bring it in. 
On the bench is India Atkins with four fouls. She's usually the fourth quarter heroine for the Nighthawks. Nighthawks are getting it done. Calvin for three. Off the rim. Those threes haven't been falling for Calvin since the early go. They helped set the pace early, though. 7-18 to play. Chastity Jones squares up. Three-pointer won't go. And if Calvin's not making the threes, she's making up for it in the rebounding category. What an impressive start. Humphreys does it again. It's a 12-0 run for the Nighthawk women. Six points for Humphreys, her second tray of the game. The lead is 16. Davis travels, and it goes back to the Nighthawks. You couldn't have drawn it up any better for National Park College. The lead is 16. A 12-0 run. Three minutes in and counting. Here's Amaya Coakley. Humphreys from downtown again. Got it! And the Nighthawks are starting to run away with it here in the fourth quarter. Humphreys, three threes. Brantley looking to stop the bleeding. Can't get it. Coakley the rebound. It's a 15-0 run. Coakley, too hard. Loose ball. Moorhead has it. Jump ball. It'll go to South Arc. Lexi Pyle to bring it in. The past two times these teams have played, it was close. A nail-biter down to the wire. Two six-point wins for the Nighthawks, and they said not again. They're trying to set up a date with North Arkansas College right here in the semifinals Friday. Calvin with charge with a foul. At the line is Brantley. First free throw is good. That's the first point of the fourth quarter for South Arc. 15 points for Brantley. She'll make them both. Jyla Calvin travels with 5.42 to play. Brantley turns and fires a wide open Darby Forte, a heartbreaker. A 17 point ball game, Nighthawks in the groove. It's Humphreys again, won't go. Brantley with the rebound. Clock ticking away, 5.15 away from Nighthawk history. Vincent, stutter step, a floater off the rim and Humphreys has a rebound. How about Taylor Humphreys coming into this ball game? Showing off her skills late. Loose ball picked up by Pyle and the Stars. Here's Brantley looking to bring it home. Offensive foul. It's a charge. 4.53 remaining. Timeout on the floor. 60-43, Nighthawks. We're back after this. Nighthawk basketball is on the Nighthawk Network. Arkansans appreciate community. We work and raise families, care for our neighbors, and come together in good times and bad. At First Security, that local strength is what we love best about our home state. There is commitment here, and heart, and hope. Thank you to everyone who is standing together, learning from one another, and making Arkansas a place we all love to call home. We're proud to be your community bank. Success comes with many challenges. 
At National Park College, we've created programs that provide the tools to meet those challenges. Experience a university atmosphere at half the cost. Visit National Park College and find your path. Back in action here in Rhodes Memorial Fieldhouse, the campus of Harding University in Searcy. Three teams are locked in to the semifinals of the NJCAA Region 2 Tournament. National Park College is less than five minutes away from being that fourth team. Amaya Coakley dribbles past the Stars, floats it in for two, 62-43. Coakley in the double figures with 11 today. Forte rounding the arc. Pressured by Jyla Calvin. Takes one to the hoop. It won't go. Brantley loses the rock out of bounds. Nighthawk basketball. 4-10 remaining. Coakley will bring it in. And here's Whitaker Moorhead. Taylor Humphreys has been dangerous from beyond the arc late. She sparked this rally in the fourth. Here's Richardson. A long two. It's good. It's a 21 point lead. Six points for Kayla Richardson all in the fourth quarter. Vanessa Vinson, too hard. Calvin with another rebound. Humphreys fires for three. In and out, a heartbreaker. Coakley trying to save it, can't get it. South Arc will have it. 3.31 remaining here in the opening round of the Region 2 tournament. Kishanti Brantley to Darby Forte. Stolen by Amaya Coakley. One on one, Coakley up over a girl, won't get it. And we've got a, a finger pointing the other way. It's gonna be a foul against Coakley over the back. Third foul on Coakley. 3.14 remaining. The Nighthawks can taste it. Coach Battles Nighthawk women looking to finish strong. Here's Vanessa Vincent near the corner. Pull up, long two, too hard. Coakley can't save it. It goes right back to South Arc. Inbounds, up and in, Kishanti Brantley, count it. There's a foul. Kishanti Brantley has been the bright spot for the Stars today, 18 points. She's looking for number 19 here. Got it. The three-point play is successful. She has five points in the fourth quarter. She's the only star to score in the fourth. Taylor Humphreys for three. Misses the mark, and it's out of bounds. How about a 19 to five run by the National Park Nighthawks in the fourth quarter? Impressive. Addison McNeil's three won't go, loose ball. Goes to Jyla Calvin. Now we've got a reach in foul, and I believe this is against South Arc. It's against Kishanti Brantley. That's her second foul of the ball game. And here comes Whitaker Moorhead to clean up the spill. I'm telling you, Whitaker Moorhead does it all. If you ever saw her at a Nighthawk game in the kettle, 
Nobody asks her to do it. She'll stay late picking up trash. She loves National Park College, and she'll do anything without asking. Show how much she loves this game. Loves representing the city of Hot Springs, the community of Garland County, whether it's home or away. 2.33 to play. Nighthawks will have it. India Atkins is back in the ball game. She enters with four fouls. Don't think it's going to be a problem now. Out to Atkins on the wing. Thought about a three. Drives in, puts one up in traffic. And she's going to head to the free throw line. Fouls on Kishanti Brantley. That's, that's number three. At the line is India Atkins. She has 18 points in today's game. First free throw is good. Off the rim. Controlled by the Nighthawks. They'll get a reset. 2.08 remaining. Out to Moorhead on the wing. Swings it to Calvin. Wide open three. Won't get it. Rebound on the run is Brooke Patton. Here come the Stars. Double team quickly. And it's out of bounds. Patton was trying to bounce it off of a Nighthawk. Nobody could get it. Substitutions coming in for the home team. Here comes Danielle Dickerson, Kamaya Beal, and Dakira Kentel. Whitaker Moorhead, Jyla Calvin, and Amaya Coakley take a seat for Nighthawk Nation. And they may start drawing up how they're going to celebrate their first postseason win in Nighthawk history. Here's Kamaya Beal. Threaded inside, Essiana Bennett. 10 on the shot clock. Kentel drives in, puts up a shot. She's fouled. Looks like it might be on the floor. It is. 127 remaining. Inbound pass has Dakira Kentel from the free throw line. Can't get it. Picked up, coming the other way. Christian Marshall gets it to Dynasty Davis. Long two. Won't fall. Rebound picked up by the Stars. Marshall turns at the basket. She's fouled. It's going to be on Dakira Kintel for National Park College. Her first. At the line is Marshall. First free throw is good. One more free throw coming. Missed it. Picked it by India Atkins. Timeout on the floor, National Park College. 101 away. From the Nighthawks making NPC history, Coach Dominique Battles calls a 30-second timeout. He's wanting to bring in our featured Nighthawk player of today's game, Emily Touch. Every Nighthawk's going to see the floor today. They're all going to be a part of Nighthawk history. Touches into the game. It's going to be a moment that all of these young women remember. Win number 12 coming up in 61 seconds. The most wins ever in a season by the Nighthawk women. It'll be the first postseason win in Nighthawk women's basketball history. They'll be moving on to the Final Four on Friday. Dickerson to Atkins up high. 45 seconds left. 
10 on the shot clock. Atkins drives, fires, won't go. Saved by DK Kentel. Puts it up and in. It's a 20 point game. 30 seconds away. Davis loses the rock and Kentel has it. Shot clock is off. Out of bounds. 19.8 seconds remain. Brantley and Vincent enter the fray for the Stars. Final seconds ticking away here at Harding University. Brantley turns and fires, it's good. Nine seconds left. The Nighthawks will get it across the timeline. And India Atkins is gonna dribble it out. It's the first postseason win in National Park College women's basketball history. They're gonna get it done. Your final score, 67-49, the Nighthawks win. History for Hot Springs team. We'll be back to wrap things up. Here from Searcy, the Nighthawks are moving on to the semifinals. This is National Park Nighthawk Women's Basketball on the Nighthawk Network. Arkansans appreciate community. We work and raise families, care for our neighbors, and come together in good times and bad. At First Security, that local strength is what we love best about our home state. There is commitment here, and heart, and hope. Thank you to everyone who is standing together, learning from one another, and making Arkansas a place we all love to call home. We're proud to be your community bank. Success comes with many challenges. At National Park College, we've created programs that provide the tools to meet those challenges. Experience a university atmosphere at half the cost. Visit National Park College and find your path.
They're celebrating back home in Hot Springs. The Nighthawk women get it done for the first time in NPC postseason history, 67-49. National Park will move on. They'll take on North Arkansas College right here on a Friday in the Region 2 semifinals. Congratulations to South Ark Community College on a great season. Leading the way for the Stars was Kishunti Brantley with 21 points. Darby Forte with eight. Addison McNeil with six. Four for Chastity Jones. Three for Lexi Pyle. And two apiece for Brooke Patton, Dynasty Davis, and Vanessa Vinson. Leading the way for your Nighthawks tonight. 19 points from India Atkins. Joining her in double figures was Amaya Coakley with 11. Nine for Taylor Humphreys. Eight for Jyla Calvin. Seven for Essiana Bennett. Kayla Richardson had six points all in the fourth quarter. Five for Whitaker Moorhead. And rounding out the scoring for the Nighthawks tonight, Dakira Kentel with two. Congratulations to Coach Dominique Battles and the Nighthawk women on a season that keeps on giving. Great milestones, historic moments, and a lot of excitement and setting up a bright future for Nighthawk women's basketball. Now we'll switch gears. National Park College men's basketball will take on South Ark Community College. Tip-off is in about 24 minutes. We're going to take a break. We're going to leave it right here on the screen so you can see the Nighthawks in action. There they are. Coming up in about 24 minutes, these guys will go to battle, and they're a little bit jealous. They want a piece of Nighthawk history, too, in search of their first postseason win in school history. I'm Mark Oliver with National Park College. We'll take a break. We'll keep it right here so you can see the sights of Harding University in the NJCAA Region 2 Tournament. This is National Park Nighthawk Basketball on the Nighthawk Network.
Here we go. Ty Lil Anderson to Valerie, and that's how it's gonna start! Ladies and gentlemen, this is the show you've came to see. Can he do it again? Oh my goodness! What? Can big from what? the Garland County line! What? Here comes Saban. Front court mismatch, puts it up. Stop it! Oh! Are you kidding me? Wow, what a play! Live from Rhodes Memorial Fieldhouse at Harding University in Searcy. This is National Park College Nighthawk Men's Basketball on the Nighthawk Network, your official home for Nighthawk Athletics this season. Good evening, Nighthawk Nation. I'm NPC Sports Information Director Mark Oliver. Today's broadcast is brought to you by the following sponsors by First Security Bank. A proud sponsor of Nighthawk Athletics in 2022, First Security Bank, Bank Better, and by Hot Springs Baptist Church, your official home of men and women's soccer this season, Hot Springs Baptist Church. After notching its best regular season finish in Nighthawk history, 20-8, National Park College enters the NJCAA Region 2 tournament with high momentum and ready to take care of unfinished business. Coach Dylan Hargrove's Nighthawks accomplished many goals this season, but one goal still remains, and that is the coveted Region 2 championship crown. Ranked in the top 10 nationally in points scored and field goal percentage and ranked number one in the nation in free throw percentage, the Nighthawks continue to shoot the ball well this season and challenge their opponents to keep up or get left behind. Tonight, they'll face a familiar foe in the South Arkansas Community College Stars. Just three days ago, these two teams squared off, and it was the Nighthawks getting it done 87-69. Averaging around 89.5 points per contest, the Nighthawks boast six players in double figures this season. Joquarius Valerie, Garrett Powell, Jalen O'Connor, Roderick Massanat, Cam Vick, and Atlanta Georgia's Savon Trailer, who leads the team with 15.5 points per game. At 12 and 11 this season, the Stars enter the Region 2 tournament as the number six seed. Winless in Region 2 play, don't let the record fool you. They have playmakers that can get the job done. In Saturday's action in the kettle, Zach Brown, Michael Pryor, and Xavier Hall gave the Nighthawks a scare early, and with their backs against the wall, they'll ride their big three to try to pull up the upset. Searching for their first postseason win in school history, can the Nighthawks make it three in a row against the Stars and earn a trip to the semifinals on Friday? In the NJCAA Region 2 Tournament, it's win or go home. Don't go anywhere when we come back. Starting lineups and the opening tip between the Nighthawks and the Stars. This is National Park Nighthawk Basketball on the Nighthawk Network. Arkansans appreciate community. We work and raise families, care for our neighbors, and come together in good times and bad. At First Security, that local strength is what we love best about our home state. There is commitment here and heart, and hope. Thank you to everyone who is standing together, learning from one another, and making Arkansas a place we all love to call home. We're proud to be your community bank. Success comes with many challenges. At National Park College, we've created programs that provide the tools to meet those challenges. Experience a university atmosphere at half the cost. Visit National Park College and find your path.
Back here at Harding University in Searcy, it's almost game time. Between your National Park Nighthawk men and the stars of South Arkansas Community College. You see the Nighthawks, the starting lineups have just been announced here. First for the shooting stars of South Arkansas Community College. Number two, Markevian Strickland. Number 10, Zach Brown. Number 23, Xavier Hall. Number 25, Kalen Houston. And number 32, Michael Pryor. For your National Park Nighthawk men today, it'll be Cam Vick wearing number zero. Number five, Savon Trailer. Number 11, Roderick Massanat. Number 33, Joquarius Valerie. And at center court, number 10, Garrett Powell. Here's the tip, we're underway. Nighthawks looking to echo what the women just did, making postseason history, winning the first postseason game in Nighthawk history. National Park College looking for its third win of the year against the Stars. On Saturday, it was a back and forth battle, just a seven point advantage for the Nighthawks after 20 minutes. The Stars feel like they've diagnosed the Nighthawks weak spot. National Park College looking to take care of what has been their motto, their mantra all season long, and that is unfinished business. Cam Vick starts it off with a bucket. Two nothing lead for the Nighthawks. 40 seconds off the board here in Region 2 tournament play. Michael Pryor, top of the key for the Stars, guarded by Savon Trailer. An offensive foul. Let's go into the Nighthawks. We're glad to have you along with us on the live stream this afternoon. Let us know where you're watching from, who you're excited to see. Doesn't matter if you're a Nighthawk fan or a Stars fan or if you love basketball or somehow you found us by mistake. We're glad to have you. One team will move on to the semifinals Friday. The other team's season comes to an end at the end of this battle. Here's Garrett Powell. Turning and firing for two. Too short. Stars recover 18-49 to play. Kalen Houston finds Michael Pryor, the rounding the arc. Trying to create space. 15 on the shot clock. Pryor thought about a three. Settles for a long two. It won't go. The leading rebounder in Nighthawk history, Joquarius Valerie, has another one. Nighthawks on the move. Save on trailer from downtown. It's good. Can't spell trailer without Trey. Save on from downtown. It's a 5-0 run to start the game for NPC. Just about two minutes off the clock here in the first half from Harding University in Searcy. Kalen Houston's going to fire a three of his own. It's off the back of the rim, and it's saved by Savon. Here we go. Powell's going to attempt a three. Can't get it. The loose ball controlled by Valerie. Get that offensive rebound. 17.43 to go. Vic with the bucket, trailer with the three. Three on the shot clock. We've got a reach in foul. It's gonna be against Zach Brown. First personal of the ball game for Zach Brown. Roderick Massanet bounce pass to Garrett Powell to bring it in. Powell turns, spins, fires for two. It's too short. Here come the Stars. Long three on its way from Xavier Hall. A heartbreaker in and out. He'll get another opportunity. He'll miss the second attempt. Massinat rebound. Here come the Nighthawks into the front court quickly. Trying to set up Valerie. Puts up a shot. It's blocked. Powell's got the rebound. Dribbles. Turns. There's a foul. So we should see free throws for the first time today for Nighthawk Nation. Nobody shoots them better than National Park College. Xavier Hall picks up the foul. Garrett Powell is at the line. 
16.55 to play. Stars yet to score. Nighthawks miss a free throw there from Garrett Powell. One more attempt for the man from Springboro, Ohio. Got it. Powell's on the board with one point. Three different Nighthawks have scored. It's 6 nothing. Markevian Strickland works the near wing. In and out, saved by Savon. Here's Joe Quarius Valry to the hoop. He's on the board, too. It's 8 nothing. A strong start for the Nighthawks here in Region 2 tournament play. Timeout on the floor, 16.34 to play here in the first half. Nighthawk basketball is on the Nighthawk network. Arkansans appreciate community. We work and raise families, care for our neighbors, and come together in good times and bad. At First Security, that local strength is what we love best about our home state. There is commitment here and heart and hope. Thank you to everyone who is standing together, learning from one another, and making Arkansas a place we all love to call home. We're proud to be your community bank. Success comes with many challenges. An eight nothing start to the ball game for the National Park Nighthawk men. We're underway here in the first half. It's win or go home in region two tournament play. Markevian Strickland, or excuse me, Kalen Houston can't get it to go and Massanat comes up with the basketball. Quickly into the front court, bounce pass, Garrett Powell. Trying to set up Joe Quarius Valerie. Stays with the dribble. Two men trying to steal it. 16.06 to play in the first half. 10 second shot clock for Cam Vick. Trailer pulls up for three, got it. Another tray for Trailer, it's 11 nothing. Six points for save on Trailer, two trays. Got a couple of big rebounds as well. South Arc looking to stop the bleeding. Pryor stepped out of bounds. The Nighthawks will continue the run. National Park has held South Arc scoreless for nearly five minutes to open this postseason battle. Fifteen twenty-nine to go. Trailer thought about a third three. Steps back, finds Massanap. Unselfish play from the Nighthawks. Jump pass is taken away by Michael Pryor. 15-15 to go. Houston finds Brown. Pryor, a stutter step, looking for the first points of the ball game. South Dark finds him. That'll help stop the bleeding. Michael Pryor for two. Nighthawk defense flourishing here early. Massanet's going to pick up a free throw opportunity going to the basket. He's going to shoot two. Fouls on number five, Jared Todd. Massanet headed to the free throw line for NPC. Looking for his first points of the basketball game. First one is good. It's a double digit lead for the Nighthawks. Once again, as Massanet waits his second opportunity. He'll get them both. 13 to two. 14.45 to play in the first half. Handoff Strickland. Out of bounds. Here come the Nighthawks. Want to give a shout out back to the student commons at National Park College. I hear they're having a little watch party going on back at campus. Trailer, fade away, got it. The lead is 13. Eight points for save on trailer in the first six minutes. 
Now we're gonna have a reach in foul behind the back. They're gonna signal Joe Quirius Valerie. That's his first. That's the first foul of the ball game for the Nighthawks who have played a clean game so far. 14-16 to go, Zeb Trantum to bring it in. Excuse me, that is Javante Pearson. Long three by Strickland, it's good. Markevian Strickland, the first three-pointer of the ball game for the Stars. South Arc utilized the three-pointer to try to keep it close with National Park three days ago. Massinet up off the board, no good. Loose ball tipped up. Cam Vick and Savon Trailer have it. Here's Jalen O'Connor going to the hoop to Massinet. Trailer wide open for three. In and out. Stars on the run. Kalen Houston up in traffic. It's no good, and Valerie has the board. How does he do it? Massinet, trailer trying to save it. Cam Vick in the right place at the right time. Boy, this ball's just flying everywhere. 13-10 to play. Valerie, long two, won't go. The Nighthawks continue to get offensive rebounds, reset that shot clock. They're controlling the clock here, leading by 10. Vic takes his time, 10 on the shot clock. Vic on the near wing. Gonna have to make a decision here. Step back three, got it! Five points for Cam Vic. Taken away by NPC. Massinat tries to jam it home, he's fouled. Rodrigue is headed to the line, shooting two. First foul of the game on Kalen Houston. Masson had a perfect two of two so far. He'll miss that one. 12-29 remaining here in what has been an extremely fast first half. Only 14 minutes into this thing. One shot coming for Massinat. He'll make number two. 19 to five. That's three points for Massinat today. There he is on defense guarding against Pearson. Michael Pryor. Fighting his way to the basket, can't finish. Put back attempt, no. Saved by Jalen O'Connor. The man from Oklahoma City has a big rebound. Trailer. Step back three from the corner. Won't get it. Massinet fights for the loose ball, picks up the rebound. Swings to Kylil Anderson for three. Off the back of the backboard. 11.50 to go. Strong start for the Nighthawk men. There's a foul down low. Who will they signal? Two men made contact. Kylil Anderson is signaled for the personal. First foul of the game for Kylil, team second. At the line will be Javante Pearson. First free throw is good. Second shot, good. Pearson on the board with two points. Here's Cam Vick. 11.39 remaining out on the wing. Uh, O'Connor gets it done. First points of the game for Jalen O'Connor. I tell you, nobody's got a, a, a sweeter three-point shot than Jalen O'Connor. I see the O'Connor fan club watching on the live stream. Glad to have you for postseason basketball. The lead is 15. 11-15 to go. Long two off the mark. Darian Davis won't go. Rebound Jalen O'Connor. 
Savon Trailer tries to bully his way to a basket. He's fouled. It's going to be against Darian Davis, and Trailer is headed to the free throw line. Eight points for Savon Trailer. He leads all scorers. The leading scorer for the Nighthawks this season. Looking to add a couple of free throws to his resume today. There's the first one. As he approaches double digits here in the first half of the first half. He takes a deep breath. Second shot good. He is a large part of why National Park College is the best free throw team in the country. 10.52 to go. A big Nighthawk lead to start. Bounce pass has Pryor. He loses the rock out of bounds. Nighthawks will have it. Anderson to Vic. Vic guarded by Davis finds O'Connor on the wing in the corner. 10 on the shot clock. Vic fires for two, won't go, and Pryor has a rebound. Nighthawk defense has been incredible here in the early go. Shot up in traffic. Pearson is fouled by Cam Vick, his first. And Javante Pearson is headed to the free throw line. Pearson is two for two from the charity stripe. Looking to add to his total, trying to cut in to a 17-point deficit. First shot is good. That's three points for Pearson. Make it four. 24-9, National Park College. We've reached the midway point of the first half. DeCorey Watkins is into the game for NPC, and Massinet fires one from downtown. Won't go. On the inside is Xavier Hall, guarded by Massinet. Long three, hand in his face, saved by Savon. Savon looking to go coast to coast, puts it up, he's fouled. Trailer's headed right back to the charity stripe. Don't worry, Mom, we see you out there, he's okay. 10 points for Savon Trailer here in the first half. He'll shoot two with 9.32 to go. First shot, good. Checking into the game for the Stars, Markevian Strickland. Trailer knocks them both down. We've got a timeout on the floor. National Park College leads 26 to 9, 9.32 remaining in the first half. It's National Park Nighthawk basketball on the Nighthawk Network. Our Kansans appreciate community. We work and raise families, care for our neighbors, and come together in good times and bad. At First Security, that local strength is what we love best about our home state. There is commitment here, and heart, and hope. Thank you to everyone with standing together, learning from one another, and making Arkansas a place we all love to call home. We're proud to be your community bank. 26-9, Nighthawk Nation. There's Coach Dylan Hargrove talking things over with his Nighthawk men. Coach Reggie Rogers there with him. A strong start for the boys in blue. 9.32 to play in the first half at South Arkansas Community College Basketball as we resume play. Javante Pearson has his hands full with DeCorey Watkins, maybe a little too handsy as Watkins will pick up his first personal. 
fourth team foul for National Park here in the first half. Markevian Strickland will inbound, and he finds Darian Davis. Save on trailer. Got a hand on that shot. Partially blocked. Watkins runs away with the rebound. He'll slow down and let his team catch up here. Watkins needs a little help. There's Kai Lil Anderson. Right place. Right time. It's good. First points of the ball game for Kai Lil. 28-9, 8.55 to play. Bounce pass finds Pearson for South Arc. Nowhere to go. Markevi and Strickland will fire over O'Connor. It's blocked. Save on trailer trying to steal it away. Couldn't hang on. Got to love the passion, the energy, the fire of save on trailer and the Nighthawks. Trailer's playing like it's a tie game. He doesn't care his team's leading big. Long two, Xavier Hall. And that will get South Arc into double digits. 8.33 to go. First points of the game for Hall. Here's Kylo Anderson. He tries to jam it in. Can't get it. He'll get another shot. You know Anderson. Eight twenty remains. Massinet finds an opening, loses the rock. Anderson is there to save it. Now it's taken away by South Arc. Michael Pryor comes up with a steal. Eight oh five to play. Pryor swings Markevian Strickland in motion, top of the arc. Fed inside Xavier Hall in traffic, count the bucket, there's a foul. Four points for Xavier Hall. He's at the free throw line looking for the and one. Get you a close-up shot here of Xavier Hall. He'll make the free throw. Now it's a 14-point ball game. Five points for Hall. Jalen O'Connor skates around the top of the arc, fires for three. No. Pryor comes up with the Here Comes South Arkansas Community College. DeCorey Watkins applying the pressure. Kylo Anderson in the face of Hall. Played a part in that miss there. Rebound Jalen O'Connor. Trailer wide open for three. Dashes inside. Gets a little closer. Can't sink the two. Watkins a great rebound. He loses it out of bounds. It's going to be South Arc basketball. 7.03 remaining in this first half. The Nighthawks started strong, haven't looked back. Here comes Javante Pearson. Lost the ball right into Cam Vick's breadbasket, one-on-one. Vick needs a little help, and it's up and off the rim for Valerie. South Arc's going to get it right back. 6.40 to play. Crossing the timeline is Javante Pearson. Joe Valerie is there. Here's Garrett Powell defending on the wing. Hall turns and fires for two. Won't get it. Joe Quarius Valerie with the rebound. Here come the Hawks. Watkins to trailer. Wide open. No. 6-10 remaining. Nighthawks have the Stars doubled up here in the first half. The lead is 14. 
Todd to the hoop. Gets it for two. Jared Todd, his first bucket of the ball game. Nighthawks cross midcourt, 5.42 to go. Defensively, it's been a much different ball game than Saturday. Loose ball off the back of Val Rhee, picked up by Markevi and Strickland. Michael Pryor. In traffic, won't get it. Nighthawk rock, and Pryor is down. We'll take a brief break. This is National Park Nighthawk Basketball on the Nighthawk Network. Arkansans appreciate community. We work and raise families, care for our neighbors, and come together in good times and bad. At First Security, that local strength is what we love best about our home state. There is commitment here, and heart, and hope. Thank you to everyone who is standing together, learning from one another, and making Arkansas a place we all love to call home. We're proud to be your community bank. The injured player for South Ark is Michael Pryor. We wish him a speedy return to tonight's action. Pryor was phenomenal in the game against National Park College in Hot Springs on Saturday. Very strong talent out of number 32. As it stands, Nighthawks lead by 12. 28-16, 5-21 to play. It's Valerie and Vic and Powell and Trailer and Massinat on the floor for the home team. Massinat, bounce pass, finds Garrett Powell. There's a reach-in foul, and I believe that's on Xavier Hall. It is. I've got three fouls on Xavier Hall here in the first half, and another one of the South Ark leading scorers. You got Pryor out of the game with an apparent injury. Hall in foul trouble. It's a big moment to capitalize if you're National Park College. Here's Garrett Powell at the line. Got it. Two points for Powell in today's game. As the Nighthawks approach 30. In and out. Rebound, Valerie. It's out of bounds. Val Reed to bring it in. He'll find save on trailer. Up and in for save on. They work on that play hundreds of times in practice in the kettle. It works to fruition. The lead is 15. 445 remaining in this first half. A steal by save on trailer. He'll stay with the dribble. Dish to Valerie, up and in. The Nighthawk lead continues, four points for Joquarius Valerie. 4.27 to play. Davis has it blocked by Valerie, and now we've got a carry call. Oh, we do have a foul call. Excuse me. It's Garrett Powell signaled with the personal. That's his first. And that sends the Stars to the line. At the line is Darian Davis. First free throw, no good. Davis looking for his first points of the contest. Second shot, good. He's on the board. 33-17. Vic into the front court. Inside is Garrett Powell. Has it stripped away. Nighthawks will keep it with 4.02 to go.
Jalen O'Connor to inbound. 16 point lead for the Nighthawks. Here on the road in Searcy. Four minutes to go in the first half. Garrett Powell up and in. Four points for Garrett Powell. Javante Pearson into the front court. Roderick Massanet with the pressure defensively. Jalen Randall needs a little help and resets up high. Seven on the shot clock for Pearson. O'Connor trying to get a strip. Davis fires a prayer, won't go, and Valerie has it. Foot race into the front court for Nighthawk Nation. Valerie smooth moves, finds Cam Vick. Valerie, wide open for three. Won't get it. Davis with the rebound. Here's Jared Todd. Less than three minutes to go here in the first half. It's been all Nighthawks since the get-go. Randall banks it too hard off the backboard. Valerie has the rebound on the run. Looking to go coast to coast, he does. It's a 20-point lead. Six points in the first half for Joe Query as Valerie. 2.32 remaining. Todd works the middle, loses the rock, and it's Valerie on a foot race. Behind the back, looking for the jam. He'll settle for a lay-in for two. Quit teasing us, Joe. Eight points for Valerie. Two oh eight remaining. Nighthawks readying some substitutions for the final stretch of the first half. Up high is Randall. Long three, Markevian, Strickland, a heartbreaker in and out. Massanat with the basketball. One forty three to play. Massanat jump shot won't go. Picked up by Markevian Strickland. To Todd from beyond the arc. No. Jalen Randall comes up with the rock. Less than 90 seconds to play in the first half. Randall goes down hard. Foul is going to be on Javante Pearson. Two shots coming. Jalen O'Connor at the line. He has three points today. Looking to get NPC to 40 here in the first half. Got it. Substitution's checking in. Off camera, we've got Notorious Nelson and Demarcus Johnson entering the fray. Kyla Landerson and DeCorey Watkins are on the floor as well. The Nighthawk starters have earned a big breather. I imagine they'll sit until the second half. O'Connor misses number two. 40 to 17 as the Stars take over. 118 remaining. Tyler Everett into the game for South Arc. There's a loose ball. Picked up by Keelan Houston. Intercepted. Kyle Anderson's got it. To O'Connor for two. Six points for Jalen O'Connor. Less than a minute to go. A dominating offensive explosion for National Park College. Over the first 20 minutes, that one's laid in. Strickland for two. 42-19. Nighthawks will have it to Corey Watkins. They can't hold for the final shot. Notorious Nelson, no, but he's fouled. The pride of Ashdown, Arkansas, getting some postseason action. Tyler Everett picks up his first personal foul. Nelson heads to the line. Number 
First free throw, good. Deuce is on the board for NPC. 26.9 seconds left. He'll miss the second one. Stars take over. Shot clock turned off here in the first half. 20 seconds left. Watkins looking for a steal. Kalen Houston sizing up the defense. In the corner is Jared Todd. Six seconds left. Houston for three. Off the mark. And an epic first half comes to a close for Nighthawk Nation. 43-19. The Nighthawks cruise into the first Security Bank halftime show. Their 20 minutes from repeating what the Nighthawk women did just moments ago. National Park on a quest for a Region 2 crown. They're 20 minutes away from moving on to the semifinals. We'll take a break. 43-19. This is Nighthawk men's basketball on the Nighthawk Network. Our Kansans appreciate community. We work and raise families, care for our neighbors, and come together in good times and bad. At First Security, that local strength is what we love best about our home state. There is commitment here, and heart, and hope. Thank you to everyone who is standing together, learning from one another, and making Arkansas a place we all love to call home. We're proud to be your community bank. Success comes with many challenges. At National Park College, we've created programs that provide the tools to meet those challenges. Experience a university atmosphere at half the cost. Visit National Park College and find your path.
halftime from Harding University in Searcy. It's the official side of the NJCAA Region 2 tournament. I'm Mark Oliver with National Park College. Earlier today, the Nighthawk women made school history, defeating South Arkansas Community College, a final score of 67-49. The Nighthawks pick up their first postseason win in Nighthawk history. They'll play North Arkansas College Friday in the Region 2 semifinals right here at Harding. Tip-off for that game will be right here, 3 p.m. on Friday. We'd love to see you here. If you can't make the trip, don't worry. We've got you covered. The game will be streamed live right here on the Nighthawk Network. Should the men advance as well, they'll play against ASU Mid-South at 7 p.m., on Friday here at Harding University. We'll have that live stream for you as well. So both teams in line to continue their postseason run. Moving on to the final four. National Park College leads 43-19 after a big first half here in Searcy. Getting it done for the Nighthawks. Save on Trailer leading the way with 14 points. Eight for Joquarius Valerie. Six for Jalen O'Connor. Five for Cam Vick. Three for Roderick Massanat, two for Kylil Anderson, one for Notorious Nelson. Got four points for Garrett Powell and six for Jalen O'Connor with the lead for the Nighthawks. For South Arc, they're led in scoring by a couple of young men, Markevian Strickland and Xavier Hall, each with five points. Javante Pearson has four, two apiece for Michael Pryor, Jared Todd, Darian Davis has one. Big story for the South Arkansas Community College stars. Michael Pryor left with an apparent injury in the first half. We have not seen him return. Pryor not even present out on the floor right now. We wish the best of luck to number 32, hoping to see him back in action in today's battle. We see all of you out there on the live stream. I know there's a watch party going on back on the campus at National Park College. We'd love to hear from you. Let us know where you're watching from, who you're here to see. Would love to give you a shout out. If you're a Nighthawk fan, a Star fan, or if you just love basketball, let's hear from you. We're about seven minutes away from the start of the second half here in Harding. We'll take a break. Dylan Hargrove's Nighthawk men lead 43-19. This is National Park Nighthawk basketball on the Nighthawk Network. Our Kansans appreciate community. We work and raise families, care for our neighbors, and come together in good times and bad. At First Security, that local strength is what we love best about our home state. There is commitment here, and heart, and hope. Thank you to everyone who is standing together, learning from one another, and making Arkansas a place we all love to call home. We're proud to be your community bank. Success comes with many challenges. At National Park College, we've created programs that provide the tools to meet those challenges. Experience a university atmosphere at half the cost. Visit National Park College and find your path.
back here at Harding University in Searcy. The broadcast crews are all here. We're all hamming it up here at halftime. The, the crew from UA Cossetot, great guys. Always love running into them, whether it's at the Kettle or here at Harding University in Searcy. National Park College is 20 game minutes away from moving on to the Region 2 semifinals where they would have a date with ASU Mid-South. Want to say hello to all the fans watching on the live stream this evening. Joe Quinn Valree cheering on Joe Quarius. And I see the Save on Trailer fan club cheering on their guy back home in Georgia. Save on Trailer leads the way for the Nighthawks. 14 points. He leads all scorers. And just an offensive explosion for Coach Dylan Hargrove's Nighthawks. Had an opportunity to, 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 to talk to Coach Hargrove earlier this week, and he said our focus is rebounding. He said we can shoot the ball as good as anybody out there, but when it comes to rebounding, we're not playing to our potential. So far tonight, I think they've righted that ship there. And as we return to action, we'll see the starting five on the floor for Nighthawk Nation. Garrett Powell, Savon Trailer, Cam Vick, Roderick Massanat, and Joe Quirius Valerie. Want to give a special thank you to Nighthawk women's basketball player Whitaker Moorhead for helping us on camera. She's celebrating up here with me instead of her team after winning the first postseason game in Nighthawk women's basketball history. Always glad to have Whitaker's help this season. 1948 to play as we're just underway in the second half. Long three coming out of the gate. Markevian Strickland will knock it down. A long way to go for the South Ark Stars, but they're going to give it everything they have. Eight points for Markevi and Strickland. Coming the other way, save on trailer, a little fadeaway shot, won't fall. 43-22, 19-18 to play. All the way home, that one is swatted up and in. Knocked down by the Stars. Number 15, Imari Newton with the basket. It's 43-24. That one's off the rim, no good. Reeled in by the Stars. Nighthawks still looking for their first basket in the second half. 5-0 run for the Stars and fouled on the play is Xavier Hall. Garrett Powell picks up his second. Free throws are coming for Xavier Hall. Stars looking to keep the run going here to start the second half. Trailing by 19 points. Hall's first free throw is good. Second attempt, good. Seven points for Xavier Hall. Cam Vick boosts it around to Trailer and Massanat. 18.25 to play in the ball game. Vick dished out Massanat. Did he have enough time? No. They'll reset up high with Joe Valerie. Ten on the shot clock. Valerie. For three. In and out. Rebound Xavier Hall. A 7-0 run for South Arc to start the second half. Wheeling it around, Javante Pearson. 15 on the shot clock. Hall for two, won't go. Rebound Joe Valerie. Bounce pass inside, save on trailer is tripped up. It's Nighthawk Rock with 17.43 to play. Seventeen forty remaining. Vic, a little step back floater for two, won't go. Hall with the rebound. 
And the cold shooting continues for Nighthawk Nation. Two and a half minutes off the clock. The Nighthawks are scoreless in the second half. Here's Hall. In and out. Valerie with the board. Trailer to Vic for three. In and out. Valerie comes up with the rock. Nighthawks will reset. Vic, down low, it's good. Seven points for Cam Vic. We've got a foul. It's going to be against Roderick Massanat. First foul on Massanat. At the line is Javante Pearson. Free throw good. One more coming for Pearson. In and out. Saved by Savon. Here come the Nighthawks. Valerie hangs with it. Second chance, it's good. The lead is back to 20. Joquarius Valerie enters double figures with 10. Long two by Todd, doesn't fall. Powell with the rebound, Nighthawks on the move. Massinet from the corner. Yes! The Nighthawks hit 50 on a big three by Roderick Massinet. Six points for number 11. It's a 13 point lead. In traffic, Newton can't get it. Powell secures the rebound. Lost out of bounds. Next play. 15 25 to go. The Stars attempting a comeback here. Up and in. Xavier Hall for two. Nine points for Hall. 50 to 29, a 21 point lead. Massinet, good, count it. There's a foul. Massinet for the end one coming up. Eight points for the man from New Jersey. Amari Newton picks up his first foul. Free throw, good. Nine points for Roderick. Six of them coming in the second half. 14-13, to play. Bounce pass on the inside, Hall. Got it. Xavier Hall is in the double figures. He's got 11. Fourteen, sixteen. Vic fouled. He'll go to the charity stripe. Vic has seven points. Now going to the free throw line. First shot is good. One more coming 
for the NPC scoring king, Cam Vick. Two for two. Nine points for Vick. Pearson finds Newton. Moving inside the arc to the free throw line. Nowhere to go. Strickland fires for three. Rebound, Roderick Massanat. 13.50 to play. Vic from downtown. Off the rim. Picked up. Rod, or excuse me, Joe Quirius Valerie. Thirteen thirty-five to play. Massanet loses the rock. It's picked up by Strickland. Here's Pearson into the front court. Floated up. Hall can't get the alley oop. Finishes strong for two. Lead is twenty-two. Thirteen points for Xavier Hall. Coach Dylan Hargrove readying some substitutions for Nighthawk Nation. 13.03 to play and a foul. Trailer is going to get a couple of free throws coming up. And Mari Newton's going to pick up his second personal. That's the third for South Arc here in the second half. Trailer, a deep breath. That's his first point of the second half. He has 15. Xavier Hall will take a seat for the Stars. Darian Davis is in in this place. Another deep breath for Savon. Got it. 16 points for Savon Trailer. Kalen Houston fires a big three. It's off the mark too hard. Jalen O'Connor loses the rock, and Zach Brown is there to put it in for two. First points of the game for Zach Brown. He had a great day on Saturday against Nighthawk Nation, but he's been quiet here in postseason play. 57-35, 12-27 to play. That one trying to – the pass intended for Garrett Powell gets away. Newton drives to the hoop. Off the rim, no good. O'Connor's got it on the run. Nighthawks mismatch into the front court. Vic drives baseline, feeds Trailer. Vic. Trailer finds an opening. It's too short. Picked up by Darian Davis. Now we've got a collision. Foul is on save on Trailer. That's his first. 12 minutes remaining here from Harding. Out on the wing is Darian Davis. Up high, Jared Todd. Driving against save on trailer. It's in. 57-37. Jared Todd back on the board. He has four. Here's DeCorey Watkins for Nighthawk Nation. 11.26 remaining. O'Connor loses the rock. Can't find it. Newton found it. Spins past save on trailer. Houston for two. Got it. First points of the ball game for Kalen Houston. It's an 18 point ball game. South Art trying to rally for a comeback. Less than 11 minutes remaining in their season. Trailer is fouled on the floor. 
It's going to be against Zach Brown of South Arc. Second personal on Zach Brown, and the Nighthawks will have it at the baseline. Massinet and Valerie are into the game. Powell and Trailer take a seat. Inbounding deep to Joquirius Valerie. Got a whistle here. They may be trying to affect the, uh, the scoreboard here. I believe it's a clock issue, and we're going to reset. 10.36 remaining. O'Connor is fouled on a reach-in on the floor. No basket. It's against number 15, Imari Newton. That's his third. Five fouls for South Arc here in the second half. Watkins will bring it in. We've got a timeout on the floor. 57, 39, Nighthawks, 10.30 to go. This is National Park Nighthawk Basketball on the Nighthawk Network. Our Kansans appreciate community. We work and raise families, care for our neighbors, and come together in good times and bad. At First Security, that local strength is what we love best about our home state. There is commitment here and heart, and hope. Thank you to everyone who is standing together, learning from one another, and making Arkansas a place we all love to call home. We're proud to be your community bank. Success comes with many challenges. At National Park College, we've created programs that provide the tools to meet those challenges. Experience a university atmosphere at half the cost. Visit National Park College and find your path. 57-39, Nighthawks back in action. Kai Lil Anderson draws contact. He'll head to the free throw line. Two shots coming for number two. He's got two points today with 10-27 remaining in the second half. Here's Kai Lil at the line. First shot, good. In and out, no good, and the rebound is picked up by South Arc. Stars coming the other way. Houston into the front court. Finds Zach Brown. Javante Pearson thought about a deep three. From the free throw line, Needs a little help, and we've got a foul. Off the ball. This is going to be against DeCorey Watkins. It's number two on Watkins. Fourth for NPC here in the second half. Javante Pearson, bounce pass, brings it into Jared Todd. Pearson gets it back. Driving, firing, won't go. Anderson with the rebound. We've reached the midway point of the second half. 10.01 to play. Nighthawks have cruised since the opening tip. Looking for their first postseason win in NPC history. Zach Brown to the hoop. Count the bucket. There's a foul. I believe they're going to get Watkins again. Zach Brown with four points in the second half. The foul will actually be on Jalen O'Connor, number two on him. So the lead is 17, and Zach Brown looking to chip away at it here with one free throw. Off the rim. Picked up by Valerie. Here come the Nighthawks. 9.45 to go. Massinet fires a laser to Valerie. Powell from the corner. 
in and out. Stars have it. 9.23 to play. A 17-point ball game here in the Region 2 tournament. Darian Davis up over a man, a blocking foul. They're going to get Valerie. He thought he was going to take a charge there. Second personal on Joe Valerie. That stops the clock with 9.08 to play, and Darian Davis is at the free throw line. South Arc hoping to get a little bit of help from the charity stripe to, cling, to claw back into this thing. First one is in and out, no good. Second shot, good. Davis with two points in today's game. The Nighthawks are nine minutes away. Garrett Powell turns in traffic, loses his dribble, needs help, fires up a one-handed shot, won't go. Valerie gets it, saves it, puts it back for two. 12 points for Valerie. Turning and firing is Davis, drains it. Four points for Davis. 60 to 44. 8 10 remaining. Garrett Powell to the bucket. Six points for Garrett in today's game. Nighthawks continuing to build that lead up. That one's going to get away from Kalen Houston. Nighthawks recover. Cam Vic, wide open for three. Got it. His second three of the game. He has 12 points overall. Nighthawks are wanting to leave no doubt about it. Sending a message to the other three, the other two teams secured in the semifinals. Cossetant takes on North Arc here at Harding coming up next. Long three, Jared Todd, no. Rebound, Valerie. Now he's on the run. It's a foot race. 7.07 to play. Valerie lays it up. Count the bucket and a foul. 14 points for Valerie. Valerie attempts the end one. 7.06 remaining. Got it. Valerie out to 15 points. Just behind save on trailer with 16. Less than seven minutes remaining in this first round showdown. Todd has his hands full, gets the bucket over Notorious Nelson. Six points for Jared Todd. Six thirty to play. Massinat tries to set up the offense here. Over to Vic. Vic thought about a three. Scoots in, Massanat will take a turn for a three. In and out. Picked up by Markevi and Strickland. They'll feed it to Pearson. It's up and it's in. 20 point ball game. Seven points for Pearson. The Nighthawks are six minutes away. Massanat can't get it. The loose ball is controlled by Newton.
Losing the ball out of bounds. It's last touched by a Nighthawk. South Arc will retain possession. 5.45 remaining. Inbounds pass finds Strickland. Deep three, too hard. And Cam Vitt comes up the rock. Nighthawks coming the other way. Notorious Nelson. Stutter step. Floats it off the front of the rim. No good. Five and a half remaining in the second half. Pearson shoots a deep three. And Valerie has another rebound. Trailer stays with it. Slows things down and then fires a two. Can't get it. Xavier Hall rebound. Here's Newton into the front court. Jared Todd drives past two Nighthawks in and out, and it's last touched by NPC. Five minutes remain in this battle. Bounce pass has Hall. Here's Pearson. Strickland not afraid to shoot the three. It's in and out a heartbreaker. 4.48 to go. Nighthawks are cruising. They've been in command since the opening tip-off in this one. Notorious Nelson reaches on the inside. In and out. No, won't go. Valerie pursuing, trying to get that ball back. Newton can't get it to go. Loose ball. Nelson has it. Now it's a foot race. Mismatch into the front court. Trailer is fouled. So Savon will go to the line shooting two. He has 16 points in today's contest. He's a perfect six of six from the free throw line. Just typical Savon trailer stuff. 4.18 remaining. It's a 20-point ball game. First one good. He takes a deep breath. Love his composure. Sinks it. Nighthawks reach 70. Javante Pearson trades off with Xavier Hall. Deep three on its way. No. Valerie can't reel it in. He's mad at himself. Can't get them all. 4.04 to go. Here's Strickland. Shot is up. Too short. Nighthawk basketball. 3.59 to go. Cam Vick's going to take his time. Vick, deep three. In and out. Valerie chases it down, gets it right back for his home team. Vic's going to try again. This time he'll skate on in and actually know where to go. He'll have to reset. Vic tries for the three this time. No. Nelson with the rebound, and the Nighthawks get another offensive board. Coach Dylan Hargrove's got to be loving these extra rebounds, these extra possessions for his team. That one is up in traffic, won't go. Last touch by a Nighthawk. Checking in for the Nighthawks to Corey Watkins, and for the first time tonight, Big Tex to Marcus Johnson. We saw Johnson return from injury on Saturday against this South Art team, and he'll get a little postseason action as well. You'll love to see number 24 back on the court. The pride of Dallas, Texas, representing Hot Springs, Arkansas. Nelson nearly had a steal there as Todd goes to the bucket, but he's fouled. Nelson will draw the personal. That's his first. It's Jared Todd at the free throw line. 
Two shots coming. First one good. Two for two. And South Arc reaches 50 with 3.11 to go. Nighthawks can taste victory. Valerie feeds Notorious Nelson. He's fouled. And free throws are coming for 22. Nelson going to the line here. He's got one point today on the one free throw he's had. That one's off the mark, no good. 2.59 to go. Nighthawk men and women looking to make history together. Nelson misses them both, and it's picked up by the Stars. Pearson, some smooth moves into the front court for South Art. Valerie with him every step of the way. Now a deep three on its way, in and out. Big rebound for Big Tex to Marcus Johnson. Front court has Cam Vick. 2.33 to play. Valerie with the stutter step, loses the rock and finds it once again. Vick moving along the wing, 10 on the shot clock. Five seconds, Valerie to the hoop. It's good. 17 points for Valerie. Two minutes remain, and a steal by Demarcus Johnson. Can Nelson reel in the pass? He goes down hard. I believe he's fouled. He's down hard. No foul, just the out-of-bounds call. Nelson is up and okay. Glad to see he's okay. Looked scary there for a moment. He'll stay in. He's just fine. Valerie's going to take a seat, and here comes Jalen O'Connor. One forty-five to play. Xavier Hall from the free throw line gets it done. 15 points for Hall. He leads South Arc in scoring. 90 seconds left. Vic, a floater for two. No, won't go. It's out of bounds, and it's going to be South Arc basketball. Zeb Trantham is going to check in for the Stars. Joined by Darian Davis and Markevian Strickland. A few sophomore players who will be closing out their careers at South Arc Community College. 120 to go. Bounce pass inside, loose ball controlled by the Nighthawks. Jalen O'Connor. There's one minute remaining in this battle. Twelve on the shot clock. Nelson finds Demarcus Johnson. In traffic. Has it knocked away. Nelson will draw the foul. Notorious Nelson heading to the free throw line, shooting two. Forty-three point three seconds left. Nelson's free throw no good. He'll get another attempt. Second shot is good. Seventy-three fifty-two. The Nighthawks are 30 seconds away. 
Trantham, long three-pointer, rolls on in. And we've got a travel call after the fact. A timeout, excuse me. For South Arkansas Community College, they're going to be able to bring in some fresh faces here and give a, an ovation to the sophomores helping to continue growing that program down in El Dorado. They'll be back, and they'll be stronger than what we've seen this season. They get stronger every year. Final seconds ticking away for National Park College. Ten seconds left. And Cam Vick can dribble it out. Last year, they fell in the first round of the Region 2 tournament. They said unfinished business all year long. This year, they took care of business. The Nighthawks win. Their first postseason win in school history. 73-55. The Nighthawks get it done. History for the women. History for the men. We'll see you on Friday in the semifinals. Final score, 73-55. This is Nighthawk Basketball on the Nighthawk Network. Our Kansans appreciate community. We work and raise families, care for our neighbors, and come together in good times and bad. At First Security, that local strength is what we love best about our home state. There is commitment here and heart, and hope. Thank you to everyone who is standing together, learning from one another, and making Arkansas a place we all love to call home. We're proud to be your community bank. Success comes with many challenges. At National Park College, we've created programs that provide the tools to meet those challenges. Experience a university atmosphere at half the cost. Visit National Park College and find your path. Final score here from Harding University, 73-55. The Nighthawks get it done. 18 points for Savon Trailer, 17 for Joe Valerie, 12 for Cam Vick, 9 for Roderick Massinet, 6 for Garrett Powell, 6 for Jalen O'Connor, 3 for Kylo Anderson, and 2 for Notorious Nelson. For the Stars, they end their season on a 15-point effort from Xavier Hall in the loss. 8 points apiece for Jared Todd and Markevian Strickland. 7 for Javante Pearson, 4 for Zach Brown and Darian Davis, 3 for Zeb Trantham, and 2 apiece for Kalen Houston, Michael Pryor, and Amari Newton. Nighthawks are back here on Friday. The women take on North Arkansas College at 3 p.m. The men face a ASU Mid-South in the semifinals at 7. Both games will be featured live on the Nighthawk Network here from Harding University in Searcy. We'd like to thank you for tuning into this edition of Nighthawk Basketball. Congratulations to Coach Battles and Coach Hargrove getting their first postseason wins in Nighthawk history, and these two teams are not done yet. They're each one game away from reaching the Region 2 championship game to be played on Sunday here at Harding University. I'm Mark Oliver with the Nighthawk Network. You can follow the Nighthawks on Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, and Twitter. We leave you from Harding University victorious. History for the women as they win tonight 67-49 and the men get it done 73-55. This one's for the Hawks. We'll see you Friday. Get them Hawks. <laughs>